Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Runner XBT and today we will talk about Velo Trading. This is the third video from this series. If you want to see the previous ones, I will leave the links in the description below. Before I start, I want to mention I am not affiliated with Velodata and I am not paid to make this video. First, you need to go to velodata.app and for you to access Velo Trading, you need to sign in. If you do not have an account, you can create one using the first link in the description. To access trading, you need to go over to chart and you'll see this button. Press it and this left hand side pop up will show up. This is where you can input your API keys and your own custom password to your Bybit account. There's also a button that takes you to documents. So first let's do that before exploring the actual trading interface. I highly encourage you to read through this page before actual trading. First thing you see on this page is bonus. And as it says here, Velo trading is free to use. But if you sign up to buy a bit with their affiliate link and trade more than 500,000 volume in a month, you can email them your user ID and you'll get full access to all tools when they offer some paid plans in the near future. So you can sign up to a new Bybit account by clicking this link or simply transfer to existing QIC to a new account. Now let's move to setup page. For security, the API keys are encrypted and everything is running from your browser. Velo is not storing anything on their servers. I recommend trying it out with a new sub, sub account while you get used to the interface first. This page is basically a tutorial how to set up Bybit by bit API keys and how to connect them to Velo. And last but not least, usage. There are a few buttons, but for purpose of saving time, I will only cover the first three. First is using a VPN for trading without slowing down data requests. Here is a walkthrough how to set things up. Should be pretty self-explanatory. Second is how to add multiple accounts and settings, which is accessible by clicking setting gear. The, uh, the settings tab I was referencing a while ago is this where you can add multiple accounts and all sorts of different settings. And lastly, prices on buy and sell buttons. They are prices that are expected average execution prices, taking into account both book depth and your order size. Now let's actually move to the actual user interface. User interface looks like this. At the top, you'll see your margin balance and available balance. And below there are four buttons, trade, book, positions, and orders. With trade and book, you can toggle them on and off. And with book, you can change by decimal. As you can see, it would change on the left side. Trade is the actual execution interface. You can see symbol and its market price, and it will be reflected as you change your chart. So let me go ahead and open up Solana chart instead. As you can see, it changed to Solana. Switching between symbols can be also achieved through your table and or watch list. So let me go ahead and go for Solana. As you can see, it keeps changing. BNB, ETH, you get the point. There are several different order types that you might be familiar from centralized exchanges. Market, limit, quick limit, limit chase, market stop, TVAP, and uh, scale. And number next to order type is leverage. And you can change between cross and isolated. You can change size between USDT and quantity. So if I have USDT on and I type in 100 and press buy, I will buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. But if I have quantity on and type in 100, it would be 100 BTC. 
This is a real Bybit account with real margin, so I'll not do that in this video. Let me go ahead and mark it by $100 worth of BTC. As you can see, the order to open right here with all the details necessary, symbol, leverage, quantity, value, entry, market, price. There are several things now I can do with this position. I can either close all using this yellow button, and if I hover over it, as you can see, it also shows close long. So if I was to have multiple positions and I wanted to only close, you know, all of them or longs or only shorts, there's an option to do that here. And the second option is to do this little cross on the right side. And if I press it, I'll get this pop up where I can either limit close it, market close it, or even open a reverse position. Let me actually use reverse option to demonstrate that what it is. As it says here, position will be directionally reversed by market order. So if I was long $100 worth of Bitcoin, I will now short $100 worth of Bitcoin instead. Gotcha. Let me close all positions for now. As you can see here are the confirmations and also on the chart if I go on a lower time frame you can see the arrows is like a confirmation of the execution on the chart itself then if you click on order settings there are a bunch of other settings you can choose between post only reduce only and set up your take profit and stop loss I like to focus on more exotic order types. Let me start quickly with quick limit. And you know, I can again cancel all of them. So let me do that. And maybe if you want to change the settings uh, on the sound, I can go ahead and do this to turn up the sound. Next is limit chase. So let me put on a one minute time frame. Good, I'm on it and I'll put the price behind the best to 20. And I'll set size to 2.5. Oops, so let's do something like 0 0.035. Good, and let's watch it. Fill me. You get the point. <laughs> and last but not least, scaled orders. So here, what I'll do, I'll set it up to five lots. I'll put it at minus two skew. I'll explain that. I'll put it range between 67,000 and 68,000. So what does Q minus two mean? That means the first scaled order will be two times the size of the last order. And we'll put the size to 0 0.1. And as you can see, as I said, minus two, 0 0.013 to all the way to 0 0.026 is the 2x. You can have two charts at the same time. So let me go ahead and select two panes next to each other. So say on the left side, you want to have Bitcoin. And on the right side, you want to have Solana again. So as you can see, as of right now, I'm at the right tab, right? I click on this tab and I can see Solana here. But if I click to the left side, where is Bitcoin, it will change automatically. So this way you can trade multiple pairs at the same time. And that was it for Velo Trading tutorial or walkthrough. Uh, thank you and have a great day.